boy, bruv, I'm Australian and I need some kangaroo meat, ya cunt. Alright, alright, I'm just joking. I ain't no lobster back from the south. I'm Hey from Gruxton delivering God. What is it, episode 15 already? Alright, this episode's gonna be cool. I got lots of video games. I want an adventure. I finally ate a pomegranate. I haven't had a pomegranate in forever. Just a warning though, I, I, technology plagues me, it fucked me over again. Most of all, my camera glasses broke, so I, like, like some bitch boy amateur, I gotta record this on my phone. And secondly, my microphone keeps making weird popping noises, I'm so, I don't know, I'm trying to solve it, I, I can't figure it out, I'm, it's broke, old technology sucks fucking dick. With that out of the way, I, I, I plagued through the storm of, 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 of high wind issues to bring you another episode. Hey from Gruxton's here, let's get into it. This great trip where I actually found shit is one I almost missed out on too. I wouldn't have even gone if it wasn't for the pomegranates being at Walmart and Monroe. Starting out, I realized I made a grave mistake. I abandoned Goodwill for too long and my my empire has, it hasn't fallen, but it's evolved for the worst. They fucking move shit around on me. The electronics section was in a perfect location. Now it's all the way against the fucking wall. They got tools where the electronics should be. Aye, aye, aye. And now I'm relegated. I'm crammed against the little wall looking at electronics. And now it's all neglected. It really sucks fucking ass. Huh? God damn it. Why, why'd you ruin it? Why do things change? These outlets reflect my, my fucking mood right now. I'm pissed off and I don't know why. Because I'm, I'm happy. But I'm yelling. Maybe it's all the pre-workout powder I've been dry scooping in front of my computer. They had one of those generic laugh signs, and at first I was fooled. I thought it finally a sign, representative of angry assholes like myself, but nope, the sign didn't say UG. It revealed the other fucking letters, fucking bastard. God damn it, why am I so negative right now? I'm happy. I right, tell you what, I'm, I'm gonna take a quick powwow, I'll be back to this microphone, and I'll be happy. This is a fucking joyous day. Alright, I'm back. I'm ready to fucking lay down the law. I'm ready to entertain. I'm, I'm glorious. I'm happy. I'm joyous. I'm fucking, fucking bamboozled over the hill of smiles. As a man who drinks a lot of fucking alcohol too much, I, I tried quitting once and I relapsed an hour later. Needless to say, I'm boozing it up. And because I'm boozing it up, I'm looking at shot classes, trying to find one that's pretty cool. Anyway, here's me and my father fucking looking and talking about glasses and shit. My recording glasses have seemed to have shit the bed. It's that green and blue one, with a green and red one behind you. What? Look that one, sir. Cozumel, Mexico. Yeah. Oh, this, this one's like a... Uh, Son's a uh, little mug. <laughs> That's for when you can't hit, hold on to your. Uh, yeah. You got a handle to stick your finger in there. That's but. post show the shot of tequila. I like this one's funny. It's got the little palm tree in it. Nice. How are you gonna break down and buy it there? It is tempting. <laughs> Oh, ooh, this, well, look at this one. It's a Maker's Malt glass. Oh, that's cool. It's got the wax on it. Oh, I gotta get this. They yeah, probably came in a gift set originally. This is cool. Hollywood, Wolf of Fame, look at Stars of the Boulevard. Oh, that's cool. I got some nice cups today. That's just a common little... Nobody knows what you're drinking. Cup. I'm mad that I drunkenly broke my two shot, my full shot glasses. Probably broke mine too, all mine. Nah, they're still there. Show the camera this. Look, there's the half. Look. It's a fake glass. It's only half a glass. It's half a beer. Show the front again. Yeah, it looks like a whole beer. But it's... Looking for better half. That's it, right there. That's cool. This sign could be taken in a very offensive way. One benefit of Goodwill is all the Halloween shit that's out this time of year. They had this pretty cool thing. Somebody slide out and close your eyes. How do you activate it? I know. Let's play a game. Pretty cool. I call it yeah. fun with electricity. <laughs> 500 bucks for Dr. Shivers. <laughs> <laughs> While in the tool section, I found one artifact. This the leftover remnant of the old electronic days. One Xbox controller that I, I returned to its new home. 
I felt like I felt like a fucking eighteen hundred soldier moving the Native Americans. It felt wrong, man. God, I don't know why this episode sounds so angry. I'm happy. That's the fucked up part. But I, I'm angry in my voice. But I'm happy. I, I'm. I think I'm just energetic on pre-workout powder huffing. Anyway, Goodwill didn't work out for video games. Look, this is the one video game they had. It's a random fucking Rayman PC game. But guess what? We go to St. Vincent's, another thrift store, and boy howdy. This place usually doesn't deliver, but today, boy, it fucking delivered. In a place that's usually slim pickings, I found a- Look at this, a whole fucking basket of video games right here. The only downside of this place is the prices can be a bit high, so I had to be a little selective, but I ended up grabbing a few games. I grabbed a NASCAR game, because they can be fun to mess around in. Grabbed that Wolfenstein copy, because I, I think this is a pretty good game from what I remember. Plus World War II, you know, I am a big fan. I grabbed Oddworld Strange with Wrath. I've heard good things about it. Um, plus Xbox original prices are rising, so it's like, get the games while you can. I decided to pick up a copy of Battlefront 2. In gaming, there's a value proposition, so like, I don't give a shit about the multiplayer, but for five bucks to play, you know, a few hours of a fun enough campaign, even if it's kind of, you know, trashy, I guess, from what I hear, eh, it's worth it. And finally, I grabbed that Namco Museum Remix. I mean, there's a hundred fucking Namco Museum copies out there, but the Remix, I don't know if it's good or not, but I don't know, it sounds interesting enough to at least explore around in for five minutes. Then again, it's hard to set up the Wii because my, my room is so full of trash and, and rotting plates of bones and fucking I, I have alcohol bottles. It's just a travesty in here. So like setting up the TV sensor and getting the right distance and shit. It's, it's difficult. The fucking sensor, it, it detects me, my reflection off the booze bottle, and, and all the flies flying around, so it thinks there's three people in front of it. It gets real fucking confused. They had one of these little solitaire game things. I'm sure you've seen them. Like, they got the poker ones and stuff. I, I'm really curious what the market is for these, because they still make them. I, well, I know the market's like old people and shit and, like, boomers, but I don't know. Don't they have tablets and phones now to play these? Like... I'm curious to see if they still sell. Cause like I owned some of these. They just end up in your possession. But it's like this weird part of gaming that's like it's almost like a remnant of the nineties if you think about it. Like these are like I mean Tiger Electronics and stuff is dead rightfully fucking so. But these weird like little handhelds that they still make, it's a really is like a weird remnant of like a past era that, that still lingers on. Often with old people who who didn't play games in the eighties and nineties. So it's like this weird like it's like a connection to the 90s, but also, like, it's more is people who predate gaming. I don't know, it's just weird. But obviously I didn't buy it, because I'm still fucking young. Even though my, my bones crack, I, my knees are broken. I, 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 I'm a grotchy old man, but I still got a little bit of youth in me. They also had a totally plug-and-play. I didn't need it, but, you know, it's gaming, so I'm gonna feature it here. But, uh, again, it's rare. It's hard to find video games at these first though. I'm sure you people know. But yeah, I didn't need it. I do like a toy, and I do collect for a toy. Like, I have a decent collection, but I mean, I have the original hardware, and I'm like, I don't, I, I, I don't need, like, the 10 most popular games. Like, the flashbacks and stuff are cool, and they're very convenient. I like them. So me and my father will play a flashback one. So, like, I do really appreciate them, but, like, it, it, I don't need another one. I've got enough shit in my house I've already talked about. I'm, I'm dying. I'm, I'm older. Man, anybody listening who's new to the Frist Store series and has somehow still made it this far in must be thinking like, wow, this guy's a fucking train wreck. Like, like, who is this deranged fucking lunatic? Oh, it can be a deranged lunatic that you watch if you hit that sub button. Wink, wink. All right, I didn't need it, so I didn't get it, but let's get some love to this old TV because they deserve the love. Keep them alive. We got to keep these things running. And I didn't need it. I mean, they're all certain models of old TVs I'd consider maybe finding room for. Because I got to get rid of an old one anyway so I could trade space. But this isn't the type I need. I'm well covered in this area. All over the store, they had a bunch of these, like, Axis and Allies board games. Like, they had tons of different versions, which is cool. Like, I, I, tabletop role-playing games is something I have appreciation for, even though I never played them. But it's just not something that fits in my life. First of all, I don't know anybody who plays them. Like, I don't have that group to hang out with that would play these. But also, I know I don't have the time. Like, I can barely watch a TV show. I'm I'm in work mode. They also had this cool old-looking radio. See, this is what's cool with old stuff. Like, new shit looks like generic black box and shit. There's no there's no design with new like electronics. They all look booing. 
Old shit is cool. Like, look at this radio. This is the fucking, this is radio should be fucking, this is like follow. It should be broadcasting nuclear annihilation or something. Oh, FDR on the radio. Something historical. I don't know. It, it looks cool. One thing I like about this thrift store, they got the retro vending machine. The old school big button one. These things, these are old school. They feel like you should be buying Surge and PlayStation 1 games next to it. Alright, before I left the thrift store, I made, I thought, I thought they had no more video games, right? But I made a weird discovery. They got some weird shit going on in their glass case. First of all, they had a PS Vita game, which isn't too common, but I don't know. That price is probably right. Those games are pretty expensive. The weird thing, though, is in the background, they have a bunch of Atari computer games priced at 10 bucks each. I barely care about them, and I'm the guy who should care about them. I mean, if they were three bucks each, I probably would have grabbed them. But, like, this is such a niche market in a niche market. This is this is a case that a lot of, like, garage sales and... And Fristos don't understand is milk it. You're not selling to eBay or the planet. You're selling to the people in the area. So who, how many people are going to come in who have a toy computer in the first place running, who have an interest in buying games, and who don't own these common games? Like, this is just outrageous. So I, I just thought that was strange. Because PS Vita games and the toy computer games are both really, like, not common at all to run into. So it was weird that they're both here. After my first store adventure or so... It was time to go to Walmart, and guess what? They had the pomegranates. It was scary at first, because it looked like they didn't. I was I was panicked, I was worried. I was ready to start taking hostages and shit. But luckily the SWAT team did not need to show up, because I got the pomegranates. I have done it. I have garnered a pomegranate into my possession. And we shall feast upon it. Uh... 